Hey everyone, today we're going to take the custom vintage SDX and Superior 2.2 and add reverb to it using the claustrophobic Easy Drummer Easy X. The custom vintage kit is very cool, sounds very good, but it's very dry. So if you want to use it, but you know, you kind of want to spice it up a little bit, you can do that if you have some of those Easy X's that have some of those cool channels like a plate reverb and chamber. I think the chamber is in jazz and the plate is in the funk but the uh, claustrophobic has its own. So that's what we're going to use. First thing we want to do is uh, get a groove going. So I got the custom vintage straight 4-4 hats closed variations, variation 1. And let's just start that. And we'll notice that in this groove we have a kick, a snare, a hi-hat, and a crash cymbal. So those are four kit pieces, so we're going to add four X drums to correspond to those. Um, bring the volume down on the kit here and we got our first X drum already made we're gonna right click on that and edit and it's coming from the claustrophobic kit kit and we have kick here and that's fine we're gonna add another one and say new and we're gonna make this one a snare and we're gonna say new and make this one a hat and one more and we're gonna make it crash a okay so there we go, we got four X drums to correspond to those. Now I'm going to stop our groove, and, and you'll hear these are our kicks in claustrophobic. I mean, our, our kick, snare, our hi-hat, and our crash. They don't sound very much like reverb, but we're going to add that. So um, first thing we do is we go into the microphone assignment. So we click here. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, if you add an X drum, it's going to give you all the mics for that kit. So in this case, it's claustrophobic, and they're going to give us access to all the mics that come in the claustrophobic kit. Um, the kick mic is assigned to the kick, the hi hat to the hat, the over and overhead, blah 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 blah. We don't want any of that, so we're going to reset it all. And all we want to do is add the FX reverb and drag it right in front of this little new thing. And it's going to add our FX mic. And we say OK. Alright. So now we get no sound. So here's the deal. We go into the mixer and we scroll over. We find our mic, X4 FX reverb and we hit our little edit so we can get into our bleeds and there we go there's our x1 kick snare hats and crash and they're all all the way up our channel is all the way down so we want to bring that up to zero um and now we'll be able to hear our reverb sounds so go back to our construct those are the sounds that we're going to link up to the sound in Custom and Vintage. So how do we do that? Well, we go into Mapping, right here, and let's start a groove. So we can actually do this in real time. We're going to right click on the kick, and we know that the kick is down on C1, so we're going to drag right on top of C1. And it says this kick is already assigned to kick right. You can replace that or join both targets. We want to join them because we're going to link these sounds together. So join. And already, you can hear the kick has the verb on it. So we're going to go to the instrument tab over here. Right click on the snare. And we know that the uh, snare is on D1. So we can see it over here triggering. So we're going to take the right articulation and drag it right on top of D1. And again, we're going to join them. And right away, you hear that going. Now our crash is over here on F sharp zero. So we're going to click our instrument tab, right click on the crash, and take the crash and drag it right on top of there. Join. Instrument tab, right click on your hats. Now, one interesting thing on the hats is there's two articulations here. There's um, one that's more open than the other one. You can do whatever you want. You can put the same articulation on both. I'm going to put the closed there and join it. And then I'm going to 
um, take, it wants this close tip maybe and put it right there and join it. So now we got reverb going on. Probably a bit much and that's why we can go back into our bleed mic here and we can turn them all down. So now we're back to dry so we can bring up as much of each piece that we want to be in the reverb. Kick about halfway. Get some going on the snare. A little bit on the hats. You want to keep the hats a little bit drier. Crash symbol can now come up with a reverb. There we go. And if you want to AB it, you can hit the mute on the channel. There it is, dry. And there it is with the reverb. And that's all there is to it. We now got reverb on the custom vintage SDX, all done in Superior. We didn't have to, you know, route out and add a reverb or anything in our um, in our software. So you can do this with any of the mics. So if I again go into microphone assignment, there's a FX uh, uh, distortion here. So I'm gonna drag that in front of new and say OK. And if I go to my mixer. You're just going to see another mic here, FX Distortion. And we can put that on zero and go into our bleed mixer here. Bring these down because it's going to be obnoxious. And we're going to play our groove again. And we're going to bring up a little bit of distortion on the snare. A little bit. totally dry with reverb and with distortion and we have a totally new kit hope that helps